Okay, so I finally got it. This is the Air City Sling 2 in X-Pack. Uh, arrived about 10 minutes ago. Well, 20 maybe. I just got back from uh, the UPS store and I stopped at Home Depot on the way. So I already had a chance to walk around with it and, and check it out for a minute. And there's a couple things that right away bugged me about it. Um, so just for context, um, I want to let you know where I'm coming from. So I uh, have been using the Code of Bell XPod right here. So this is the Code of Bell XPod. I've been using this for probably over a year now. And I really like this bag. I modified it substantially in order to remove all those all the strappy, cluttery mess that I didn't like. Um, I also removed the handle. I just, I like it like this, simple, streamlined. You put it on and it's just nice close to the, close, close to the chest or back and uh, really easy to use. And the way I modified it, it worked. Beforehand, didn't like it so much, but now I love it and it just works nicely. However, um, I did have my eye on the Air uh, City Sling, the previous generation for a long time. And I actually liked the old City Sling, but when I tried it originally in the ballistic material, it was um, not perfect for me. I do like high-vis lining and I do appreciate AquaGuard zippers. So there, neither of them, neither of the of those features existed on the previous version. There was a specialty X-Pack version that had those. I did try to go on the notification list for when that goes back in stock, but then I got a notification that that one's actually gonna be discontinued and this is what's gonna be instead. So I looked at it, looked interesting. I saw a few different changes about it. Wasn't quite sure if I'll like them or not, but said, what the hell, I'll, I'll place an order and, and let's see if, I, if it's good enough to replace my X-Pod, yeah? So that's my reference point. That's where I'm coming from. Um, what did I like about the um, previous generation of the City Sling that made me want to get one was it was very beautiful on the, on the back or chest. It just looked really nice, really streamlined. Even nicer than the X-Pod after the modifications, which I quite like. I think this looks quite nice, but it's still a little large and I, I liked how very slick it looked. The downside about that was it couldn't fit a water bottle properly. It wasn't very wasn't very capacious in general. It just wasn't ideal for anything beyond a, like a pocket reliever kind of situation, which to be honest is really all I need when I'm doing grocery shopping or whatever, just running errands and whatnot. Because I have a car and I'll typically keep my insulated water bottle in the car. Um, so yeah, I just really when I'm going around, what do I need? I need my mask. I need my you know, my keys, I, I need my, my wallet. Pretty much that's the deal, you know? Um, so I got this, now I tried this on. Now first thing, I just wanna give you a little bit of a reference. So for comparison, these are both considered X-Pack, um, X-Pack bags, right? However, the, I noticed right away that the material is, is a little different. I don't know if it's maybe just a different type of X-Pack, but the X-Pack on the city sling bag is um, more ballistic-y feeling. So it has more of that sort of like rigidity and, and, and strength to it. Um, I'll show you both of them together just so you can get a sense. So you could see they're sort of different if you look closely in terms of the uh, micro weave, right? They're just a little different. Now, the X-Pod is much more it's soft and malleable in a way. Now I, I realize it got softer and malleable, more malleable over time. However, even new, this was, it just had, had a more, I mean, it's still a little crinkly. It still is X-Pack, but it's less, it, it feels more flexible and, and less tough, if that makes sense, and less structured, which I actually kind of like. Um, uh, this one is more, feels more ballistic-y in a way. 
Okay, that's the first thing I noticed. The second thing I noticed was this is boxier, or I shouldn't say boxier, but it's more, it has a lot of structure to it. And that wasn't really an issue with the previous generation, specifically because that one uh, was so small that it just kind of, it blended in well. But this guy, it's, it's structured and it makes it feel a little blocky on the chest. So it's sort of, this is empty right now, but if I put something in, I just grab some crap here. Okay. It's a little bit, a little bit blocky, if you will, just a bit. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, right? But how does it feel on my, my chest? It feels substantial. Okay. What are some other things that um, I liked or didn't like? Well, one thing I noticed was, <laughs> it's like, really, dude? I mean, it's Aqua Guard, I get it, but you gotta hold it with two hands to close it and open it. It really has some resistance to it there, which is, it's all right. Let's compare my X-Pod, which is a little worn, admittedly, but easier, still not perfect. Um, okay, what else? Okay, one thing that really pissed me off while I was shopping was I tried opening this compartment here. So this compartment, the front, this top one here, which is nice that they made it AquaGuard. But something I noticed was they didn't make the back here AquaGuard. What is up with companies skimping on AquaGuard? I don't get it, man. But whatever, that's a whole nother thing. I mean, really, if you're gonna have, if you're gonna do AquaGuard on both, just do it on the third. You know, like what's the, what's the point? I don't know. So that one doesn't have aqua guard, but it is closer to your chest, so maybe I'm not as worried. And then, yeah, what are the chances that water will get in there? I put my phone in there, so it would be nice to be protected, although the phone, I guess, technically is water resistant. I guess you can put other stuff in there, band-aids, whatever. It doesn't have aqua guard, I wish it did. Okay, whatever. Top one has aqua guard, but what bothers me about this guy is there's two zippers here, right? So when this, when, when the zippers are on the left, my left, right, like that, then this opens fine, no issues, right? But what happens when both zippers end up, and it happens, you know, both zippers end up, sorry, I mean, when what happens when this zipper is over here? So you open it from this side, okay. Now you wanna close it, right? So if you close it from this side, it's fine. But if you try to close it from this side, look at that. It won't close. It's so annoying. It gets stuck in the in the uh, curve, and it just won't freaking close. <laughs> God damn it! All right, well, you gotta really pinch it. So let's try again. Yeah, it's like oh, man. It just even if you hold it over here. It's just something in the dynamic of the way the bag is structured. It just doesn't doesn't close. So it's annoying. Um, definitely annoying. That's just it's annoying. I don't like it. Okay, what's what else? What else annoys me? These compressions. What is up with these compressions? It's ridiculous. So okay, one of the reasons that I loved this bag so much in the previous generation was was because the compression was really sleek. It was set up in such a way that when you wear it, just wearing it would sort of, it just created a natural compression, which made it less boxy, right? So the whole thing became sort of flatter and it just kind of worked again. And it just created this seamless, nice sort of slick. I mean, it was, it was nice enough that I would feel comfortable going on a date with it. There's not a lot of slings out there that I would feel comfortable going on a date with like a first date, yeah? Just like meeting up. And it's like, that was nice. It just was very smooth and that compression and you just put your basic stuff in there. It was really nice. But this guy, they changed it. So they added a, I don't know if it's like a marketing, it's like, it's, is it like, what's the point of it? Is it like a marketing slow, uh, uh, point or whatever that they said, no, now we have like fancy buckles. And 
sure, it's it's nice. I mean, it's a nice buckle, but the whole mechanism of how it actually compresses is ridiculous. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't work. So look at this. This is uncompressed, right? Let's compress it, okay? So I'm compressing. That's compressed. <laughs> I mean, sure, this thing flapped over just a bit, right? This went over a bit. But there's no actual compression to the bag. The bag has not become compressed. It just makes it curve over a bit. That is not compression. I mean, what were you thinking, Air? It's ridiculous. Now, I tried to compress it even more with my finger just to see what it would be like had, had they made it tighter, right? And to be honest, the way that the, this bag is structured, unlike the previous one, I don't remember what, how, why it is, but it seems like the way this is structured, it has so much like going on here, so much like structure over here, that even if you were to make it tighter, it doesn't truly, I guess it could collapse it a bit more, but really not a whole lot. It's just built differently. Something about it is built differently. So anyway, all this to say is it's more brick-like on your, on your body and it's just the way it is you know and it's just larger okay next up slingability right it's really important that dynamics of slinging a sling will be comfortable because after all that's the whole point of the freaking sling so let's try ow <laughs> that actually hurt okay so what just happened this buckle, this Fidlock buckle, is, has sharp edges, okay, right there, sharp, I don't know what the, what the autofocus is doing, if it's actually focusing on it or not, but that sharp edge right there will actually scrape against your neck if you're wearing a t-shirt, especially if you're wearing a tank top or something, and if you're not careful, I mean, you can technically avoid it by pulling and then turning, but really, I mean, especially if you're wearing like a, a tank top where you have like extra exposed skin here, that Fidlock buckle, what the, what is the deal with their design of the Fidlock buckle? I mean, I get it, the, the, the angular points is gonna look futuristic, but it's not ergonomic against the, the skin. I mean, it's not, it's not friendly against the skin. Uh, so now I have to go to Home Depot again <laughs> Get some freaking sandpaper and shave down the Fidlock buckle. I gotta start shaving down the plastic because it's so sharp. I mean, when you just sling it, sometimes you don't feel it as bad. It just depends on like the way the the way it's angled or whatever. But sometimes it's, there's definite rubbing and uncomfortableness going on there against the neck. Otherwise, it's a nice buckle, whatever. Yeah, these are we all know about those. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't understand why they, why they do this. Why do they make these angular, sharp, jagged? Ah, right there is the worst. Right there, man, it's terrible. They really, they really gotta design this buckle better so that it doesn't irritate the skin like that. I mean, it's designed to go to rub against your neck. You don't want it freaking scratching your neck. I, I, some some companies with their ridiculous, it doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, but. All that being said, otherwise, it's a nice bag. They did add this little thing here. So, um, what do they call it? A garage for your zipper or some shit? It works, I guess it, it limits rain, it limits water from penetrating. Man, this thing just pisses me off, man. All right, well, I give up. Handle, what do we feel about a handle? I feel okay about a handle, it's just a freaking handle. Honestly, how hard is it to do this and grab your sling? It's just a small sling, but it's there, fine. I don't care. It's pretty unobtrusive, which I like. It doesn't actually create, like like the, the X-Pod actually had this whole thing going on. I cut that shit off. I, 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 like, my, I like my stuff being pretty, pretty uh, streamlined and pretty, you know, just clean. I like clean lines. Um, okay, what else is different between these two? Another thing I noticed is that the back of this sling is the same material as the front, meaning it's the X-Pod material. And uh, I don't love that. It's, it makes it more slippery against your, if you're wearing, again, a soft t-shirt or something. It just slips around, slides around a little bit on your back. Although, truthfully, I mean, the X-Pod does slide a tiny bit as well, but 
the other thing is if you're walking or if you are walking around with this in the sun I, I live here in hawaii so it's like sunny all the time and humid so if you're sweating man that's gonna that's gonna accumulate because the sweat has nowhere to go it doesn't absorb anywhere whereas this guy has nice neoprene the x-pod has nice neoprene and it absorbs and it cushions as well and that leads me to another thing that i like more about the x-pod as compared to the air city sling and that is if we put something bulky in, okay, like a water bottle, and I got here a Nalgene 16 ounce water bottle. If I put it in the, uh, in the air, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, whoa, for fuck's sake, sorry about that. All oh, my lancets just fell. Okay, well, I got a bunch of crap in there, but let's say I take the bottle, Put her inside. Whoops, okay. Take the bottle, put it inside. And it's bulky, okay? And this is without anything inside. Now, if I add my phone, so I'm gonna add the phone in the back. Man, now it's starting to really, whew, I'm starting to really feel it. Now let's take my bulky keys and well, you know, I got my tile here. I got my, uh, the Grove made key, uh, keychain thingy. I love this guy. It's so, it's so fun to just do this. It's made out of titanium. They also have one out of brass, which is more antimicrobial. Um, opens a bottle, whatever. It's a great thing. Just a nice, it goes right on the pant, uh, belt loop. And then I uh, got the COVID freaking thingy because I'm a, I'm a germaphobe. Uh, so put that guy in there. Now this, when everything's full, this front pocket is not the most usable in the world. It's sort of, I mean, it's okay. Okay, uh, it's pretty bricky. I mean, it's, uh, it works. I mean, it does fit it. It's just, I don't know. It's, love it really it's not so fun I feel the phone against my back and against my chest it's just, I don't love it okay um, now when I do put the same kind of stuff in the X pod because there is that neoprene backing you see it creates this nice padding and that padding actually really helps to uh, soften it, any kind of weird jaggedy items or bulky items like keys and if you have like a big keychain or some other kind of bulky item. It just feels, so I, put, so I put the water bottle and my keys in the front compartment here in the X-Pod and then I put my wallet and my phone in this pocket here. I believe I actually have some band-aids and stuff like that in here. Yeah, just a couple band-aids, but anyway, Okay, let's put this guy on now. Let's see how that feels. Okay. Well, I mean, it's still bulk. It's bulky as well, as far as looks. But I can tell you that in terms of the actual comfort factor, this guy is more comfortable. It's just, like when, especially when you have like bulky stuff, it just feels nicer in, in, on your on your person it feels feels nice and i think maybe i'll make it just a bit tighter so you guys can really see my setup here is really designed for like zoom and that kind of stuff so it's not really designed for me to stand up otherwise i'd stand up but i got my the microphone it's all like a ratio here <laughs> anyways um yeah so my point is i just enjoy wearing this when there's a little bit more bulky stuff it seems I also appreciate that all of these zippers are AquaGuard, except for the one that is behind, literally against my chest. So that one I'm really not worried about, okay? Uh, all in all, what do I think? You know, as it stands right now, I haven't given, I, I admit, I haven't given this a, lo a long test. I haven't, I haven't really put it through its paces completely, but I'm pretty intuitive and I pick up things very quickly. So, as it stands right now, I think it's not worth investing, whatever this was, 150 bucks or whatever it was, 
for this guy when I already own an X-Pod? Uh, just because it just seems the XPod seems superior, especially after the modifications that I made, it's really streamlined for me. It works for my needs really nicely. I like how when it's full, it's still pretty comfortable, albeit a little bulky looking, fine, a little dorky looking. But you know what? When this is empty, when it doesn't have a lot in there, man, it really looks pretty nice. I would say. I mean, it, it, it comes. You know, it's it looks nice. It's a little larger, sure, but it's. Actually, not larger than this guy, larger than the previous generation, but not much larger than, than that. But it just, it actually looks more streamlined than this. See, the thing about this guy, because the compression is not that great, that means that no matter whether or not it's uh, filled up or empty, it still has a bit of that bulkiness to it, which is not really that sexy. It's not that nice. I mean, it's... it's um, it's not terrible, but it's it's more noticeable. It doesn't have the same streamlined shape as well. The last thing I'll say is that I like about this guy is that in the in the back compartment, I actually like to take my Kindle sometimes. If I'm just going to the beach and I just want to read a little, I'll take my Kindle Oasis, okay? It's my Kindle Oasis. I actually added a bit of a grippiness here going on, so it's just easier to hold. But anyway, if I put that, I can easily fit that in here. Okay, not in any compartment, just kind of floating in there, but it's fine, it's padded, it's 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 fine. I'm not too worried about it scratching or anything. And it zips up nice, and it has the, the padding in the back, so it feels nice against the body, and it actually fits. And that's nice because it's a it's an oasis, so it's wider. It's not like a regular Kindle, yeah? No problem, all right? Now, this guy I haven't tested yet, so let's find out together. So I'm gonna take it out. My guess is that it won't be a great fit, but let's see. I take it out. Let's try first the back pocket. No luck at all, okay? It sticks out. It sticks out, no, it doesn't work. Now the big compartment actually, surprisingly, does seem to uh, work. But then, if I try to add a bottle, huh, it actually does close, which I'm surprised. Let's try to add keys on top of that as well. Or rather, oh, I don't even have my wallet in there. So keys and wallet, then it's a no-go. It just becomes too bulky, you know? So it's like, uh, if you're willing to put your wallet in your pocket and your phone in your pocket, actually, maybe I could fit the wallet in behind, behind here in this pocket. So if you still have just your, you know, I mean, God damn it, that's freaking, oh my God. It doesn't feel very nice, okay? Now let's put all of that inside the X-Pod would feel, I think, a little nicer. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just somehow the way it's compartmentalized, it just fits things better. Specifically, I think because of this front guy is just so big and just is so expansive, that uh, it's just more forgiving in terms of accommodating more or less. It adapts better. Its shape adapts nicer to, to very minimal sort of carry versus more bulky carry just like that. So I don't know. I, I, I like the X-Pod more than this, uh, this new generation City Sling. Anyways, hope that was helpful for you guys and uh, Hope to start creating some regular content. So if uh, if uh, if you like my rants, my carry rants, if you like nerding out on bags with me, feel free to follow. Uh, more to come soon. Uh, give it a, a like, subscribe, or whatever the fuck they call that thing. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a good one, guys. Bye.